It was the dawn of a new day when it happened. It was Saturday morning. I was watching Nostalgia Critic because I was obsessed with his videos at the time. I had discovered him one month prior. I watched all of his reviews, watched the funny man get angry at jokes he didn't understand, and the lack of research that went into it. Soon, I ran out dry with new content to see from him. I had seen just about everything three times already. I was craving more, though. More. I searched around, seeing if there was an episode I ever missed from him. And, to no avail, nothing. I was devastated. I really wanted to see a new Nostalgia Critic. I was down in the dumpster the rest of the day, constantly checking online for updates on him. I went through the whole day just absolutely depressed and weary. It was near bedtime for me by the end of the day, but I wanted to check the computer just one last time for him. I went to his channel, looked over, feeling despair, already preparing myself, expecting nothing. But what do you know? There was a new video. It was titled, Family Guy vs. Simpin, Nostalgia Critic. Alright, I thought, he's gonna tear down these two rival animated sitcom shows that have been on for way too long and are so dry, but still last for some reason. I couldn't wait. I clicked on the video, got my fruit punch to drink and my Twinkies to eat just like a good funny boy, and then I got ready to watch him. The amazing intro played as normal with all of the explosions and gunfire and screaming even though all he does is talk about bad movies. He then started his usual intro waving his head around. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. You know, I've been watching this animated thing called Fam Guy and Simpin. Now the two seem to seem the exact same, but they're actually quite different. Family Guy came ten years later. I laugh. Ha 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 But then it soon starts to get not so funny. The critic kept on rambling about all the jokes in the show, about how he didn't get some of them. Peter Griffin remembered the time and made funny cackle like Lois. Hey Lois, remember the time I went out to a restaurant with public figure and then he did funny thing? Oh, Peter, yes, I remember that. And then Critic said, What? What does that mean? I don't get it! The screen shook when he said that, and the volume got so loud I had to cover my ears. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was going to break the speakers. I crammered to turn down the volume on my computer. Doug was huffing and puffing. So furious, so angry. He then talked about a Simpson episode that was similar to it. And in there, he played a clip of Homer saying, Marge, I've been anal forward. And then Marge went like, <laughs> That's my fault, me. Doug once again said, What? That's not funny! That makes no sense! I don't get it! He then started screeching again, and once again my ears bled and nearly blew out my speakers. I tried lowering the volume, but that didn't work. At this point, I tried just pausing the video, but it would not stop no matter how many times I clicked it. It just kept going and going. Suddenly, the critic went silent. He gave me a dead serious look at the screen. I thought I just missed a gag over my suffering. But no, this seemed different. He was staring at me 
I don't just mean at the audience in general, the camera. I mean at me specifically, like right at me. His background went dark too. It was then where I noticed there was hyper-realistic blood leaking off his eyeballs like bloody tears hyper-realistically. He just stood there, sat there for 5 minutes and 32.3 seconds. Blood kept coming off his eyes. Eventually, it was pouring down his nose, and it was hyper-realistic. His face got closer to the screen. I then nearly jumped off my seat when this happened. My computer went full screen all by itself as an extreme close-up of his bloody leaking face, staring right at me, unmoving. It was dead silence aside from a deep tone playing. He kept bleeding at me. I wanted to stop watching at this point. I was frightened, so I tried exiting off the video, but I couldn't, it wouldn't work. So I thought the last resort would be to turn off my computer, but no matter how long I tried holding down the power button or shutting it down, it just would not work. I tried lifting up my PC, shaking it, throwing it, shitting on it, nothing worked. I couldn't eat another Twinkie during this. Nostalgia Critic then said in a very deep, booming, hyper-realistic voice, I don't get funny, man, dog. This is bad. I mean, come on. He then started to babble in gibberish that I could not understand. It was then where I was shocked to hear him saying so many awful things insulting me with so many different phrases and swears and insults and slurs and everything, stuff that you cannot imagine somebody would say. Ordinarily, I would not want to watch him anymore at this rate, but this just didn't seem like the normal Doug Walker I knew. He then started to bleed even more. He seemed to be getting angrier and angrier. He's getting angrier as he kept barring his eyebrows and bleeding more and more. It seemed like the screen was getting blurrier too. It was then where I saw a stick figure of Bart Simpin come out, definitely not what was supposed to be a drawing of Ding Dong at first. He then said, whoa dude, eat my shorts. But then Nostalgia Critic noticed him. He looked over at the tiny stick figure Bart, grabbed him by the neck, and then ripped his head off. Realistic blood and gore spurted everywhere, and then Doug started drinking it, eating him. I felt the urge to vomit at this point, and I threw up on my lap. I wanted to get up to use the bathroom, but my door was locked and it wouldn't open. I was doomed to keep on watching this. It was then where I saw Peter Griffin pop up and he said, Peter Griffin, that's me, that's him. But then he made eye contact with Doug and they both paused, staring right at each other. Peter Griffin slowly opened up his mouth wide, his eyes blackened as he did this. He then started screaming with a distorted echo over it. The screen was shaking, blood was appearing on his face. He then transformed into a version of Peter Griffin with a mohawk and assault rifle. He began firing at the critic, but his fires were futile. Doug then scraped his face open, and Peter started bleeding. He then said, Oh jeez, this is worse than the time I did the thing with Celebrity. Lars, do you remember that? But there was no one to respond to Peter. I cried, feeling so bad for the funny man. Doug continued to look over at me, spouting out more insults in inappropriate language, awful things. Doug then took out his gun, aimed it at the screen, and said, I don't get you! 
I then raised my hands up and shouted, No, Mr. Nostalgia Critic, please don't. Please spare me. He then went like, nah, ah, ah, visibly and vocally getting angrier. He then threatened to hold me at gunpoint, saying that I was bad and that I was dumb and that I sucked. I was crying in tears on my knees, not knowing if he could actually hear me or not. And I was saying, please, Mr. Walker, please spare me. He then said, why do people like you? And I was like, I don't know. He then screamed, I don't get it. And then he started roaring. The screen was shaking with them. I saw his head twitching around. There was so much black covering the screen whenever he moved his head somewhere, leaving a trail. I was terrified at this moment, shaking, and I did pee-pee-poo-poo -poo in my pants. He kept getting more and more angry and frustrated. I thought my computer was going to explode. I swear I saw it sparking up in flames. It was then... My computer just shut down on its own. I thought it was finally over. I could hear my door unlock by itself, and I felt free. I opened my door, thinking I just had a bad nightmare and that I would brush it off, get some water, and calm down. However, as I went into the hallway to the kitchen, I could overhear him. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I looked over and I saw him smiling at me, covered in hyper-realistic blood. He then screeched like, Err! And then ran over towards me, passed me into my sink, and took a shit in it. He then laughed madly, ran over to my phone, picked it up, dialed a number, and then he killed Grandma over the phone, tossed that aside, and ran around on all fours some more, crawling on my walls and ceiling, smearing his hyper-realistic blood everywhere. I found him in the bathroom on the ceiling, and I looked over to him. He turned his head 180 degrees at me, and screamed at me, before crawling out the window. I was shocked. I was frightened. I was confused. And it was then where I looked down and realized that half of my legs were missing. I didn't see him again the next day. However, I still checked to see if he had a new video up or what that was all about. However, when I looked, I noticed that it was just his normal channel with nothing to be seen of Fam Guy vs. Simpin. I just gave up and decided to do something else, play a video game. However, it was then where I put in the Nintendo cartridge, and Nostalgia Critic and Peter Griffin bled at me.